Kumusta mga sir and welcome back to our channel. Today, we'll be highlighting one of the current best point guards in the game, Ryota Miyagi. His quickness, passing, and stealing ability is extremely helpful, especially during clutch time. If you are new to my channel, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can always be updated whenever I upload new quality tutorial videos. So what are we waiting for? Let's jump in and get started. Miyagi can be obtained by purchasing your first recharge that costs 49 pesos or 99 cents USD. It comes with rewards obtainable on the second and the third day. Ryota Miyagi's talent focuses on ball handling, passing, speed, and steal. Make sure to level up to Class S so all talents can be unlocked. These are the total number of skill training cards, training card shards, or Miyagi training cards that you need to max his talents. The question is, what talents should you unlock first? For me, I suggest focusing on steel, passing, and ball handling since Ryota Miyagi is a point guard. Let Sendo, Rokawa, Mitsui, Kogure, and others deal with the points. First, go to the Lightning Fast talent page and unlock Nimble 1, Kin 1, Kin 2, and Red Lightning Ultimate skill. Next, go to the Run and Block talent page and unlock Unprepared 1, Unprepared 2, and Unprepared 3. If you still have lots of skill training cards, unlock Quick Offense 1, Blind Zone 1, Blind Zone 2, and unlock Movement Master. This skill can turn the game into your favor if executed successfully. Then go to the Shadow Steel Talent page and unlock Reaction 1, Reaction 2, Reaction 3, Jump 1, Jump 2, and unlock Jumping Forward Talent, an extremely useful passive stealing skill. These are the core talent unlocks for a new or starting Ryota Miyagi. Next unlocks will depend on how you want to play. If you want Ryota Miyagi to play as a pure point guard, unlock talent in Fast Pass talent page. But if you want him to help your team with scores, unlock Son of Wind so he can pump fake from further distance.
The same with pump fake shut. Unlock driving layup and light footwork as well. I have two sets of ability builds for Ryota Miyagi. I use any of my two builds depending on my team composition. If I team up with shooters like Mitsui, Shiozaki, or Kogore, I will use my ability build which focuses on steel and abilities with attributes that fills the ultimate skill faster. So I'm using stamina ability and comeback maker ability. Both adds attributes that fills ultimate skill faster. And paint interference for steel attributes. If I team up with inside scorers like Sendo, Rokawa, or Murasame, I will use my ability build with a bit of mid-range attribute so I can take jumpers when needed. So I use Steady Mid, Paint Interference, and Enhanced PG. For traits, I don't have anything else to change at this time, so I'm using whatever is available that fits Miyagi. I'm using Perfect Defense, Unbreakable, and Fast Breaker. If you are not familiar with abilities, check out my other video and the link is in the description below. Be unpredictable when executing a move, so defenders, especially blockers, will be having a hard time reading your moves. Use pump fake layup if you think they can't block the move. But if it always gets blocked, take jumpers instead. When you see a clear way or the defenders are not paying attention, use driving layup. Create space for your inside scorers so his defender won't get help from others. Stall when you are in lead, especially during endgame, to ensure your victory. Make sure you practice the skills so you can execute them correctly at the right time when needed. Offense wins games but defense wins championships. This is proven true even in real basketball and can be applied especially here in this game. The more stops you can make, the more chances you can score. I recommend using the ultimate when necessary or when your team is behind in points. It will boost your agility and stealing rate when you are in this state. If rival is holding the ball, always stay in front of him as much as possible. Chance of steal will increase the longer you stay in his defense zone. Use sprint, third skill to get back on defense quickly. If the one you are guarding is not holding the ball, position Ryota in line with a possible pass. The chance of activating jumping forward skill or shadow steal will increase.
do not hold the ball for more than 2 seconds if he is in your defensive zone. The longer you hold the ball, the higher the chance Ryota Miyagi will steal it. Move the ball as quickly as possible, especially if you don't have a point guard in your team. Avoid passing the ball if Miyagi is near the path of your pass to avoid activating his shadow steal. To block the pump fake layup, you need to step back or wait a bit whenever you see him pump. His layup accuracy is pretty high, he hardly miss. Timing is the key. Force him to take middle jumpers rather than pump layup since his middle jumper is just average. Ryota Miyagi fits well in almost any team composition. It is important to have a rebounder or blocker and a scorer and you're good to go. When playing against shooters like Kogure or Mitsui, as much as possible, avoid using the second skill or steal because you will not recover quickly back to defense. It is better to gamble on blocking their shots rather than leaving them wide open. My last tip, play your role. Do what a point guard does best. But of course, you don't have to follow this guide exactly. Play where you are comfortable. Because at the end of the day, it's how you play and how much you are skilled that will determine the outcome of the game. Which character do you want me to cover next? Just let me know in the comment section below and we will do it in the future. If this guide helped you in any way, remember to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you can always be updated whenever I upload new quality tutorial videos. Again, this is Cloud and see you next time.